Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It's Mike, smartoptiontrading.com. It is Tuesday, the 8th of June, and this is your daily recap, guys. So overall today, guys, if you look at the indexes, it's really been a do-nothing day on the indexes, and the action is all under the covers. We'll start off with the SPY and the Qs real quick, and then we'll switch to individual names. Uh, on the SPY, on the five-minute chart, you can see the action here. And, you know, this is just wicked. You I mean, look at the overnight. We were all over the place. We opened just at new all-time highs, just off an even higher high, and the first candle was up, down, and then we sold off all the way down till about 11 o'clock, where we tagged the eight day on the spy, and they said, okay, that's enough, enough selling, let's push back up, and up we came. You can see 48% volume here, and the point thing I want to point out, there's no volume, there's nothing going on in this market, there's a lot of games here, guys, we're waiting for the CPI number on Thursday, that morning, the last time we had CPI was here back on the 12th of May, and that number was so hot, and the market, you know, that was that big nasty down candle on that day. So, you know, here we are, new all-time highs on the SPY. It doesn't look pretty, but the candle's really not that bare compared to where we were. If you look at the Qs, the Qs here are saying everything is a good, decent too. You know, they opened at a nice new high trying to get to the all-time high, which is now not that far away, but couldn't hold. Weakness came in, but held up okay. The IWM was the real superstar today. IWM here pushing up and now is um, almost a buck, about a buck 20 from all-time highs at the 234.50 area. So again, nothing too bad going on when you look at the indexes here today. This market remains difficult. It remains tough. It remains minute by minute you know if you look at the queues today the queues rallied out of the gate in the first five minutes the banks dumped energy dumped right you see these big down moves and look at that now that the banks are higher energy's higher right you got these big big tails on it and this market was doing very rapid rotation intraday but really what's going on is we're seeing them starting to buy back into growth names and spec names and that's where the money's being made and that's really what is starting to push this market as you look at it. So for today, you know, you look around and say, well, what was in play? Well, in the big names, it wasn't so easy. Microsoft pushed early for that gap on the open, then fell apart, couldn't get there. I traded Apple today. I made not great money, but it pushed up, got right here into resistance where it fell apart. And now it's holding in OK. But that was Apple trying to go today. You could see there was flow all over it in the June uh, the June 132 calls had big volume. So did the weekly 128 through 130 calls on it. Couldn't hold. The semis, they got kind of beaten up. AMD had a beautiful open, but couldn't hold back down in this range. NVIDIA finally had some weakness today, but look at it come storming back here. And, and that's been the MO in this market, guys. They love to shake people out. At that point, they said, okay, let's switch. We saw names like Lemonade take off. You know, we talk about growth names. Lemonade had a nice day about halfway off the highs. AI had a nice day as well, trying to hold in here. But the real money to be made today was to be made in the names that, well, one more, Amazon. I didn't trade it. Amazon, somebody in the room, I think it was Raphael, called it out this morning. Big gap and go, you know, and honestly, you know, big gap and it held in. And when the rest of the market came in, Amazon didn't care. Amazon, nice push all the way to the 50 day and back into the middle, you know, almost to the top of this range here. For me today, the real money was made in some of these meme names or short squeeze names or Reddit names, or whatever you want to call them, guys. And, you know, it's about just finding what's in play and sticking with it. So let's talk Clove. I traded Clove pre-market for nice money. I traded two other times today, made good money on Clove today. It's now take, guys, it's tweaking out 22. I'm live in the room while we're doing this. 22 has been the area to watch. Why 22? Because it had all this resistance right here. So Clove trying to run one more time into the close here. Big move on this name. By the way, the short interest is increasing in this. They're just adding fuel to the fire. This is an all-time high here today, and it is pushing up yet again. I traded Wendy's pre-market, made only a couple bucks on it then because the bid ask was why to freak me out, but had a nice trade on it here just a little while ago. Wendy's a big move here as well today. You can see now this one's curling back up. This is also at all-time highs. And it was names like that. Kodak today, if you didn't like this one, Kodak gave flow and opportunities. We saw on that near the highs of the day, big candle there. Rocket also flow today, pushing the top of this range, just couldn't quite get out. There's this little wish, don't know much about it, but a big move here on this one, all the way up to the 50 day, they had flow all over that. And it really, it really, it's just about names, guys. It's about names and they're looking to push 
growth and names they believe they can push. They're looking for names that have low float or high short interest, and they're looking to beat them up. Anyway, so um, you know that's my thoughts here tonight, guys. We have another day tomorrow. I expect a similar time action until we get to the C, uh, CPI number on Thursday. So everybody have a great night, and I'll catch you in the morning live at 9 a.m. Have a good one.